my beautiful nail sisters. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I use these water decals that I purchased from a company on Instagram called 77 Nails. Okay, and these are water decals, okay? But I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do both water decals and how to use the laminated sheet as well. Okay, so I had already did a test run. Okay, I did this little envelope and that's from the water decal. Look at how flat y'all. Tell me that's not flat. Like, come on. These and you don't you can also encapsulate them with acrylic if you want to. Like there's no there's no right or wrong. Okay, like there's so many ways you can figure out how to use these. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this milky white i'm gonna go in on my swatch stick okay and then we are going to start this little tutorial on how i use these sheets okay and i just cannot wait you guys to use the various characters that these sheets have they have all different um characters for different holidays they have stuff that you can just use overall like any time of year so yeah if you guys are interested in these um send me a dm send me an email hit me up and i'll let y'all know okay so we're going to outline the little those eyes and this mouth Okay, so we're going to be out. This is the water decals. Okay, we're going to outline them with black. Okay, and then um, we're going to cut them out. And then I'm going to show you how to put them on the nail. Make sure you guys leave the sticky layer when you guys um, put on the nail polish. Make sure you guys leave the sticky layer because you're going to need that. Another thing, if you guys are work, are going to do like, let's say like if you guys wanted to do one of the other characters. So then what you would do is like, if you, you can do it two ways, okay? This is the way I like to do it because it seemed to work better for me. But if you want to do it the, the other way, which is the original way that this um, nail artist um, shows you how to do is... You cut out the decal and then you you put it on the nail without coloring it in. You color it in once it's on the nail, okay? But um, I like to um, color it on here, okay? So like say if I was going to do that Mario Brothers, then I would just fully color it in with all my paint pots. I think it's way easier that way you guys than doing it on the nail like like truthfully I really feel that coloring it in on the paper first is way better um, but you guys can definitely try however you think it would work for you for me this is what has worked for me Okay, so now that we've cured and I already did the eyes, and you can use whatever colors you guys want. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out the two um, designs that I'm going to be using. Okay, which is the mouth and the eye. Okay. So I would cut as much around it as possible so that you don't have all that excess, um, you know, um, plastic around it like the 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 closer you you get to the to the um edges the better okay but if you can't it's okay it's clear so you it won't show up on the nail but for me like since i've been like testing these out it's like way better if you try to get as much excess off of the water decal as possible so like say right here like I didn't 
I, I could have cut a little bit more around the edges, you know, around the, um, the mouth, and I didn't. So you guys are going to see that it's going to be kind of like, it's going to kind of like fall off the nail. So you'll see, you're going to have to like file that off if you, if I'm explaining this correctly, okay? So then you put it on your stamper or you put it on the nail you can either put it on the stamper or put it straight on the nail i usually like to do it with the stamper and then you just wet it slide it off and then you grab your stamper and you place the art wherever you want it on the nail so see on the side i don't know if you can tell but you see the little plastic it went over on the side because it was kind of long okay so we're gonna do the same thing for the eyes okay so you wet the back with a brush and you don't have to like soak it all the way but what I do is like I wet it and I kind of pull at the same time to see when it releases the plastic the um you know the 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 decal okay once it releases the decal Right here, I'm just kind of stretching it out because it kind of like bunched up when I pulled it off. Okay, so then I'm putting the little eyes on there and see how cute, like this is like so fast, you guys. So fast, so easy. Okay, and then so I'm going in with some top coat. Okay, and that's just gonna seal in your artwork. This is the first one that I had did, the little envelope. So what I did, you guys, was I took a copy of those water decals and I laminated it my own sheets with my own um, laminate uh, paper. Okay, so this is another way you guys can do artwork and I've been playing with this one so much, dude. Like this one is so freaking fun. Like what you do is, okay, you're going to use your paint pots, okay, and you're going to trace your whatever design you want to do. You're going to pretty much... Do exactly how you we were doing the the, the water decals, which is um, tracing them or coloring them in, okay. And then you're gonna cure, you're gonna trace it, color it in whatever you you colors you want to use. Cure it for 60 seconds, pop it back out, and then you're gonna top coat it. But what you want to do when you top coat it? is you don't want to have you want to try to like just top coat a nice thin layer over the design you know like try not to have too much excess of the top coat you know popping out of the sides because then you have to like cut that you know because the top coat is gonna get a little it's gonna still be nice enough for you to put on the nail but it's you know you'll see what you'll see what i'm talking about
Okay, so you see now it's re it's um, cured. We're gonna go in with some top gel, okay? And remember, it's gonna be a very thin layer, and it's I'm gonna try to stay just in the area where the where the art is, okay? Like I don't want to go out too far out or up. You know, I want to stay right in the art, okay? And then we're gonna cure it for 60 seconds. Okay, so let's peel and I'm gonna use something sharp. You can use some sharp tweezers. I'm using this uh, little knife um, that I have from my Cricut machine. Okay, and see, just go very nice and slow because you did do a thin top coat. And then see how uh, it popped out and then you just place it wherever you want it. And then you're just gonna smooth it on the nail. Remember, the nail has to have like a tacky layer, okay, in order for it to to hold on. And then look at that. That is so freaking easy, y'all. Like, tell me, I don't even know if I would have been able to do this spider on the nail. You know, this is just like the perfect freaking spider I've ever done. Okay. Now, you see the top, like right the top of the legs of the um, spider, like you can see where the top coat ends, right? So this is why you have to make sure you don't want to like top coat too far up, you know, because then sometimes you'll be able to tell. You want to try to stay within the artwork, okay? But overall, look at it. It looks amazing, you know? To me, this is, I mean... I love it. I love this. I've been playing with this sheet since I got them. So let me know which ones is your favorite. Like, would you do the water decals or would you do the laminated sheet? I love both. You know, the laminated sheet, that'll last you a lifetime. Now, the water decals... Um, you know, once you use the decal, then it's done. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I love this hack, y'all. I hope y'all liked it, too. Have a blessed day.